The brain is pretty well protected against most of the chemicals that get into the human body. But those that dissolve in fat can get through and affect the brain, and alcohol certainly does that. We think of the brain as one organ, but it really behaves like lots. For example, coming out of the backbone into the skull, this part thickens. And inside there, in the core of it, you have part of the brain responsible for keeping you conscious. Just here, a region controls the heart rate and breathing. That part that looks a bit like a section cauliflower is responsible for coordinated movement. And here, and curling around on either side, is a region responsible for moods and emotions. While up in this great wrinkled cap, we do most of our thinking, store most of our memories, and about here, register sensations like touch. Under the forehead, you have a part responsible for self-awareness and self-judgment. We think of alcohol as a stimulant, but really it's a central nervous system depressant, an anaesthetic, and it knocks out different parts of the brain in a particular sequence. First to go is self-awareness and self-judgment, with perhaps a bit of feeling. You may notice you get a bit numb. With self-judgment gone, the centre controlling moods and emotions has free reign, and you get the emotional drunk. Happy, sad, belligerent, something like that. More alcohol still, and we lose motor coordination, fine movements, and speech, and walking. And if you really go into alcoholic coma, you're affecting this. Consciousness goes, and in its most extreme form, the coordination of heart rate and breathing. At that stage, you're dead drunk. I want to know.